with T quilts and I'm here to do the Irish chain block it's another block for my quilt gill we're having an optional block where you bring a block and then you put your name in for a drawing and if your name is pulled you win all of the blocks so I haven't won any blocks yet just for informational purposes so since it's the Irish chain blocks they ask for us to bring it in St. Patty's Day colors it's actually our March block of the month and so they wanted you to use a green and then a neutral. So that's what I have here. I have picked two fabrics. And for each piece, you're going to need a two and a half inch strip that's at least 21 inches long. You can get it if it's 20 inches, but I like to do 21 so I can have room to square up my ends. So that's what I prefer. And then also in your green, you'll need one four and one half inch square. And then on your neutral you'll need four four and one half inch squares so this is actually going to be a nine patch block it's another very simple block so we'll put the squares aside for right now and we're actually going to just take our two strips and we are going to sew them together along the long edge once you do that, you want to press your seam allowance toward the green fabric. So I have already done that here where I have sewn and pressed my seam toward the green fabric. Now what we want to do is take this strip and cut it into two and one half inch segments. So I have a small ruler here and I am just going to use it to square up my pieces. So first, I want to just square up my edge here. Then this is trash. And then I'm going to rotate my strip set. Remember, I'm left-handed, so I'm doing this a little different than you would if you're right-handed. And I am actually making sure that I have a line going through the center. I have it squared up here as well as on the bottom. So I'm actually checking three places before I cut. And so we are going to do that for the entire strip set. We actually need eight of these. And if as you're cutting and you realize that this edge is no longer straight, you can also stop and square that up at any time. And this is extra. So now that we have eight of these, we now want to go make four four patch units. So we're basically just going to be rotating the blocks like so. And we will make the four patch units. So 
So I'll go sew all of these four patch units together and then we'll come back. I'm back and I have sewn all of my four patch units and I have pressed my seams and I just wanted to show you how I was pressing the seams on this four patch. On Once you sew your seam down, your quarter inch seam, it is crossing your previous stitch from when you sewed your strip set together. Here is about two or three little stitches and we just want to pluck those little stitches out but we don't want to break the thread. We want to turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. We've got three stitches here. We just want to pluck out those three stitches and you want to stop where it intersects with the seam you just sewed going vertical. But you don't want to actually break the thread so I've got the thread hanging here. Okay, So once you do that you can open out your four patch and when you pull it you can press your seams and you'll make a little four patch in the middle and that just helps to keep your seam in the middle nice and flat and then you can turn this over and press it with an iron and you can try to press one where you just press your seams to one side and see how that feels as compared to making four patches and pressing your seams in the little four patch unit here. So I will press this one open but I have already done that with my other set. I'm working with two sets for video purposes. And so we are actually now going to make a nine patch block. So we need to get our five squares, our four neutral and our one green and then we also need to have our four four patches. So we're going to make a nine patch block so we need to have nine squares that are four and one half inches. So we're going to actually put the four patch so that the green crisscrosses in the middle. So in every corner I just want to make sure that I rotate so that the green is coming into the center. And then I can go ahead and also put in my center square. So let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see. And then the remaining places is where the neutral pieces are placed. And so that's your actual block, another pretty simple block. I like that they're keeping these very simple to encourage people to participate. And whereas you're not spending a lot of time making the blocks. So now my next step is I'm just going to go ahead and sew this block together. I'm going to go to my sewing machine. I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch down on this side. And then once that's done, I'm going to add this row on so I'll have three pieces connected. So I will go do that and I will come back with this sewn together. Here is my uh, partially sewn block that I mentioned to you earlier where I was going to sew the blocks into rows and so I have sewn these two pieces together and then I went back and added this third piece and I have not sewn it in the rows in the middle to make it a complete block. But when I press these seams I just press them towards the white the neutral background fabric just so that I could have my seams going every other direction when I pressed so I pressed everything towards the white squares and then once that's done you're just going to flip down sew a quarter inch that way and then flip this part up and sew a quarter inch again and I've already done that with my second block here and I also press those seams towards the middle. I'm not sure how they want them done, but I just pressed everything away from the actual four patch units. And I'll let you see that on the back as well. And I will go and sew this block and I'll add a photo at the end of this video with both of these blocks. I will also add a photo, photo of a quilt 
layout with these blocks as well as I'll make one in scrappy prints as well. So thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye bye everybody. Thank you.